You know, a lot of you guys have been telling me that I speak too fast, but if you think that I speak too fast, wait till we speak 10 fast. Get it? Because like, one to 10. Anyway, welcome to the next episode of Ask I'm the only Ask series on YouTube where you ask legitimate questions and I answer with illegitimate puns. Let's get started. You can see my fingers now. That sounds gross. If you were a fish, what type of fish would you be? I would be a bass, so I could stop you to stop asking all these questions. And... <laughs> I just came up with that right now. <laughs> Meme Mansion or Dovin Flat? I'm thinking towards the future here, so I'm gonna go with Dovin Mansion. Why are you still playing Pokemon Go? Like, I stopped playing a month ago when Niantic removed every fun feature and started banning every site that made the game playable. Uh, but recently they released a ditto and I was like, I need that. And also when I was in LA, I mean, LA is like Pokemon Go for cheaters because literally everything's there. So I figured I could get a couple more that maybe my friend Raya that still plays it or my friend Lana that still plays it. I can make them a bit jealous. Also, I got my Tauros. Any songs you're obsessed with at the moment? Well, I listen to Heathens five times a day, and I know I'm really late to that train, but it's just good. And I'm also really obsessed with Cry Like a Ghost by Passion Pit. Like, that song gets stuck in my head, and I have to listen to it, like, at least a thousand times before it's out. And then it comes right back in, and I'm like, Sylvia, right back where you came from, you're a pendulum. That's exactly how the song goes. He doesn't have a high-pitched voice at all. He's, he's a nice baritone. <laughs> Last thing you lost it and still haven't found it. My dad. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow, I lost my MacBook charger cable. I don't know how, it disappeared from the house. I know I came home with it from California. I, I arrived with it and now it's gone. It's nowhere in the flat. We have an extra one thanks to Luke, but why does this happen to me? It's just gone, like that blows my mind. Like even though there's a solution and now I have a backup thanks to Luke, it doesn't help this huge gaping hole in my head that's like, you messed up. It's gone forever. And you don't know where it is. There's no answers here. I need answers. What's your favorite thing about December? Well, usually I'd say snow because where I'm from, it used to snow a lot in December and that makes me happy. It's beautiful. Audibly, visually, I love snow. However, in London, it doesn't really snow. So the only thing that I can look forward to in December is the fact that a lot of people start smiling a bit more. And it's nice to see that in the train. People just seem a bit more cheery. Christmas. What's your favorite way of eating potatoes? With my mouth. Really don't know how else I'm gonna eat them. Now that song's inside my head and I can get it out. Have you ever been in Mexico? I'm Mexican, I don't remember. Oh wait, I remember. Mexican, no. What do your next trip? What? <laughs> do an impression of Luke. Okay, so just so we're aware, I can do a British accent when I'm not doing an impression of someone. I'm pretty good at it. I might do a full video of it later, but I'm really bad at British impressions. Okay, so here's my best. Hey guys, so today I fell in some poo. It's my best attempt. Do an impression of Dodie. I hope this song makes you cry. Like this video if you liked it, if you liked it, if you like. There's an impression of Dodie, she does that clapping thing all the time. Why does she do that? It's called syncing the audio. It's kind of an outdated thing. You don't really need to do it with Final Cut Pro anymore, but you still do it because it's fun. Mysteries of Dodie revealed. Do your best impression of Connie. That's her face, right? Can I just do the face? I can't do her voice. Hi, I got hit by a car. I mean, it's not a <laughs> I'm so sorry, Connor. How do you feel about Dodie switching to Ravenclaw? Well, as a Ravenclaw and a house purist that feels like you cannot switch houses, maybe the only reason I have that opinion is because I wasn't sorted into Hufflepuff. So if you are a Hufflepuff and you feel maybe you deserve to be in a better house, come to Ravenclaw. We're full of smart peeps, okay? We know what's up. What did you get when you went Black Friday shopping? I'm wearing it, which means I'm probably gonna end up wearing it for the next week, because that's how it works when I buy new bomber jackets. I really like this one. I like the prints. It's got patches on the sides, like really rad. It's got my birth year on it going back 1990. It's also like really warm. Like every bomber jacket I own right now is not really a winter bomber jacket. They're more of an autumn and like something you throw on top. This one's really thick, really warm. Also has like date champs on the back there. Really rad, got it at Top Man, of course, it's where I end up getting everything. But yeah, I'm really in love with this thing. New merch? I mean, the new merch is coming, I swear to God. I know I've said that for like the last two Ask Evans in a row, but it's so close. You'll understand when it all comes out next week or the week after next week. It's gonna be available before Christmas and it's gonna be really cool and it's gonna be great. I mean, the fact that I dropped my iPhone case down Yosemite, down a cliff, and it is perfectly fine. It's a testament, right? You'll be able to get one soon. What did you think of the Bonkas? The Bonkas were interesting. If you're unaware, the Bonkas are an award ceremony that's made for YouTubers that was just started this year. And I kind of forgot it existed until I got off my plane from LA, a bit jet lagged and tired and realized, oh crap. Gotta put a suit on and go to an award ceremony. I was nominated for an award for best travel vlog. I was up against Dan and Phil, famous travel vloggers, uh, Fun for Louie, the travel vlogger, and two other people that I know. So I was like, good expectations here. I lost to Louie, I'm happy with that because Louie is like the best travel vlogger. I'm totally okay with that. But the award ceremony was pretty good. Uh, I periscoped the whole thing, which supposedly 
uh, you're not allowed to do. I, I didn't know, no one told me. I mean, I just got a lot of tweets like, what's going on at the Bancas? And I was like, I've never done a Periscope, let's try it out. The Periscope was called Untitled, because I forgot to title it, and the thumbnail was like a derp photo of myself as I'm looking at my phone. So like, I don't know how so many people found it, but I had a good time, it was a good one. They made me delete it, uh, they were a bit upset. I, I didn't know, I think uh, we're all on good terms though, because it was like, hey there, mister, and I was like, sorry, my bad. How was Thanksgiving? I had a really, really, really good Thanksgiving this year. I cooked turkey breasts and mashed potatoes and sweet potatoes and I had corn and stuffing and I had some other vegan options for Luke as well and I had bread and I had pumpkin pie and ice cream and it was, it was really, really nice. It was me, Ellen, Luke and Dodie because Connie was in San Francisco and I don't know, it felt really lovely and we all shared what we were thankful for and it made me really happy because Thanksgiving is like my favorite holiday. I love lots of food. I love the tastes and I love being thankful. I love this, the atmosphere that it's not really as commercial as every other holiday in America. It's mostly something just about being thankful for each other and what you have. What is your favorite Thanksgiving food? Pumpkin pie, hands down. I mean, I just love pumpkin pie so much. Can you say Irish wristwatch? Can you say Irish wristwatch? I hate you. Can you say Irish wristwatch? Yeah, Irish wristwatch. <laughs> Best and worst Christmas present you received. This may sound sad to you, but they're the same. And it sounds really bad, but it was just a box of cereal. It was a box of Tony's Cinnamon Crunchers, which are discontinued, I believe. They were really good, and my, we didn't really have much money, but I really wanted that box of cereal, and my mom got me that box of cereal. Yeah, she probably could have got it for me every other time of the year, but it was special, because it was Christmas, and it was a delicious bowl of cereal. That's how much I like cereal. Eight Christmas puns, go! If you think you've done wrong while drinking a Christmas beverage, be sure to acknowledge your mistake. <laughs> what? You want to give some expensive oil to a baby? Have you no frankincense? He's got no use for that. I go to Christmas flea markets toboggan with the vendors. <laughs> if you don't like rings of evergreen and holly, you should rethink that. Opinions. <laughs> I bet you'll hate this pun because it's overdone. My house was freezing after Santa put me on the naughty list because I got cold. He gave me cold. <laughs> So you're saying a star led you to the son of God? Gee, suspicious sounding to me. Mm. My granddad actually played a part in the Cold War. The Russians were after him because he had a mistletoe. You know, just launching, launching missiles from that toe. <laughs> Did you listen to any more songs on Dean of a Bachelor? The Dean of a Bachelor. Oh, 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 letting the students fail. What? <laughs> Happily ever after. Ooh, how could I teach for more? If you could speak car, what would you say to the one that hit Connie? I mean, I don't think it's very appropriate for YouTube. They'd probably censor it and you'd probably only hear, Man, beep, beep, you, beep, 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 you, beep, you, beeping, beep, 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 because, because cars beep. <laughs> Favorite candle scent? I just came back from America with this pumpkin spice candle from Bath and Body Works and it is heavenly. If you haven't even just gotten a chance to smell it yet, just go to Bath and Body Works, give it a sniff. It makes the whole room smell so good. Have you had any recent weird encounters? Yes. So yesterday I was at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter up in Watford and someone was standing very close to me in the line and he turned to me and said, Hey Evan, does it make you feel uncomfortable that I'm watching a Snapchat of you right next to you? And I'm an honest guy, right? I don't like pretending or saying I'm okay when I'm not. I'm very honest with my opinions. And so if someone says, am I making you uncomfortable by watching your Snapchat next to you? My answer would be, yes. I, I feel quite uncomfortable now. And then he went, ha ha, and I went, no, really, like, I feel uncomfortable. And that in itself I thought was funny because of the fact that I actually honestly answered the question. But then he was like, I'm sorry if you're watching this and I did make you feel uncomfortable for you making me uncomfortable. I just thought that was a funny exchange because yeah, I mean, no one likes it when you're like watching your YouTube video in front of them. Like, uh, that's such a, so the fact that especially you brought it to my attention because I didn't know. But if someone's just like, hey, look, am I making you? Yes, all forgiven, it's okay. I think it's a funny experience and it's a funny story. Yeah, good. Yeah, don't don't watch my Snapchat in front of me. That's weird. How British are you? I mean, I feel like I'm a lot more British than I used to be, uh, especially because I was able to convince someone on the plane that I was. Uh, basically, the flight attendant was like, I'm walking around and I'm like, hey, um, excuse me, is there a duvet behind me? I need to, you know, sleep. And she was like, oh yeah, it's right behind the pillow. And I was like, ah, did you actually think I was a uh, British? Because I'm American. Boom, got prank. Prank, bro. She believed it. So the answer, I'm a little Brit. A little bit, a little Brit, a little. Yeah? <laughs> Do you like goats? You better believe it. Billy goat. Yeah! <laughs> Have you ever been in a car accident? Yeah, when I was 18, someone didn't check their blind spot and just tried merging into me, so I swerved to get out of the way, did a full 360, was freaking out like, ah! And then I ended up like this in the highway. I was like sideways and the whole traffic stopped. I didn't get hit, surprisingly. There was smoke and steam everywhere from my tires. And then I just like, 
turned the right way. While people are beeping, by the way, at my traumatizing event, I'm like, ah! and there's people beeping at me like, excuse me, mate, no, you almost died, but could you get going? I'm trying to get to Delaware. Obviously they weren't British. I mean, they could have been, but probably not. Just angry New Jerseyans, but what? Oh, just <laughs> speaks in German. If you move, sneaked off the curtain. Did you ever find your phone after you lost with the bonkers? Yeah, so while I was periscoping the event, if you didn't know this, I have two phones, an iPhone, which I use every day, and then my Google Pixel, which I basically just use because its camera is insane and amazing. And so my Google Pixel fell out of my pocket and just landed in the aisle, and a security guard took it away, and I noticed, and I started freaking out while I was streaming. I couldn't just stop the stream, so I chased after him and had to get my phone back. And it was like, yes, that's my phone, but he's like, you're holding a your phone. And I'm like, I, I know, but it's, I have two, uh, so yeah, that's what happened. Do you have any crushes currently? I have a couple crushes. None of them are returned, so they remain to be just crushes. They crush my heart. If you were a serial, which one would you be and why? That's a real good question. I think I've used that pun before. Okay, we're the pump police. They're coming after me. Granola. I love granola. Anyway, that about does it for this episode of Ask Kevin. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like below. And also be sure to bell me. Click that sub button and then bell me. Make sure you get notified when I make a new video. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Goodbye. That took so long to get this thing set up without the autofocus, okay? I had to like sync it up to my iPhone and then try and get it to focus on me without focusing on anything else when I went up to focus, oh my gosh. Behind the scenes, man, I think I need a new camera or some friends.